Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to see today. Minor eruptive events on the sun. Yesterday's new moon eclipsed the SDO satellite here. We've got solar storm models, a potential impact study, and we'll dissect a weather weirding map from the ESA. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and find an eruption off the southern incoming limb, not aimed at Earth, the SDO eclipse by the new moon, and then a minor pop just ahead of the coronal hole, unable to produce much ejecta in a CME. Corona hole stream is about a day away. We did have a minor solar wind amplification yesterday. The co-rotating interaction region and phi angle magnetic flip of the solar wind, KP reached 4. And that stream indicates that the corona hole stream is behind it on its way. And speaking of solar impacts, they have modeled the solar storm from last year that took out the Starlink satellites and suggest past models fail to reproduce the actual atmospheric impact, including the extra drag and electric forcing in the ionosphere, which took out those satellites. They plan to use this new modeling system for future events to help better predict technological impacts from solar storms. One of those would be on the railroads. The 1921 solar storm took out the New York Railroad, since then, several major rail disruptions can be tied to solar activity, and even the newest all-digital system railways are at risk from signal disruption. They're just as vulnerable as power grids and other large-scale networks. Folks, this map from the ESA is meant to scare us about what happens during climate change. Let's break it down. At both polar regions, they point out the potential for major ice loss, which they'd like to tell us leads to runaway warming, but we have seen the dozens of papers on why that ends up cooling the world and is a signal for the transition. The northern permafrost melting alerts here are meant to be a fear push on methane release, but we also got a study yesterday suggesting that such methane release is not going to be as bad as some have predicted, and by a long way. They've got the Atlantic overturning circulation collapse, which is another key indicator of cooling transitions in all paleoclimate data sets. And they've also hit the coral reef risk, but of course the Great Barrier Reef had record high marks just last year. Folks, with the exception of the two forest die-offs, which are predicted only, every other item on this list either leads to cold or has been proven to be an overreaction and fear-mongering. This is what we've come to expect. And we greatly appreciate your support. We are eyes open for more solar eruptions and for the solar wind from that coronal hole. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.